gym bag, camera bag, keys, getting ready for the collab with Colossus Fitness and Anabolic Aliens, and I am hooking them up with some protein, because they're doing some traveling and protein is always the hardest thing to get on the road. So we got some protein bites, a bunch of bags of Quest chips, a whole bunch of different bars, some samples of Quest protein powder, some protein cookies, and they should be good to go. This is the place we're going to meet up at. It's called Crazy Crepe. Uh, the name says it all. It's a whole bunch of different crepes. Whoa, anything you could think of, anything you want in the crepe. There's also wraps and smoothies and sandwiches and waffles and ice cream, I believe. Oh! oh <laughs> what up? <laughs> Puts off a buffalo chicken. He's like, what time is it? It's 2.50. I'm hungry though. What do we think about Maddie? I don't know, buffalo chicken actually sounds good. What everyone think of Crazy Crepe? Good? It was awesome, awesome man. Right, God, awesome. You know, those were the good foods at. <laughs> so now, we're actually heading right there. I don't know how it's gonna go after we just ate and we have to deadlift still, but we're gonna go jump around on trampolines and play some dodgeball, so let's get <laughs> it. each other in the face. I'm waking up to So we're here at Sky Zone, and we all came in with cameras vlogging, getting ready to play some dodgeball. And one of the employees said something. Yeah, he, was, he just walked over to me. He's like, "Yo, you better go tell Matt Sullivan to be careful. You're gonna be on YouTube. That's that's Matt Fusari. He makes fitness videos." So we have um, some of the employees here watch the channel, and uh, now they're all gonna be on YouTube. And they're actually gonna be kind enough to film a round of dodgeball. We're doing USA versus Canada. Yeah, yeah. What's up, man? I watch the videos, buddy. What's up? I watch the videos. Oh, well, say what's up. Yeah, what's up? Huh. Awesome. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. You too. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, Phil. What's going on guys? So I got a short commentary for you, kind of wrapping up the weekend here with Mike, Eric, Josh, and Kyle, just talking about my thoughts on everything. And if you missed the previous video, it was called Lock It Out. And that was a deadlift montage showing some PRs that were hit and just getting fired up after hours at the gym. And this was some of the other footage that we captured from the night. And the guys don't know I'm including this, and I don't know if they mind or not, but it was a few failed attempts that we all had. And not all of us, but some of us. So this is the side that you might not see all the time, but it happens. So that was me pulling a 485. My previous best ever is a 500 pound deadlift. So, you know, I was fired up, I was excited, so I threw 515 pounds on the bar and it moved quick and I got stuck right there at my knees. Now, I could have probably kept fighting that, but as you guys know, after previously dealing with a lower back injury, that was a lot of weight for me, so I didn't want to push it too hard, but moving forward, I'm going to change up my style of training, and I'll be sharing that with you guys shortly, but I just plan on getting stronger and stronger, and that's kind of where we're rolling into how everything went this weekend. You know, I was surrounded by 
these are two other YouTube channels who have who have put in time, who have put in work, who are extremely strong. I mean, Josh right there pulled 600 pounds on the deadlift with more in the tank. He could have pulled more than that. Everyone here has impressive numbers and everyone here is is younger than me and they inspire me and they motivate me to do better. And that kind of brings me to the point of talking about doing collabs on YouTube. You know, people message me often asking if I will shout them out or shout out their YouTube channel or see if I can have a look at their channel. And whenever I have time, I do my best to to try and network with other people, whether they're a smaller or a bigger channel. That's not what's important to me. It's that people are putting in the time and they're disciplined and they're committed and they're interactive with their audience because those are the things that are important when trying to develop a successful YouTube channel. It's not about just getting a ton of views on one video and calling it a day. It's about are you consistently uploading? Are you consistently responding to your comments and and taking the audience's feedback and incorporating that back into your videos? And that's something that's important. And I'm not gonna sit here and claim like I have the secrets to YouTube success because look at some of my videos. With 140,000 subscribers getting six, seven, eight thousand 8,000 views on a video doesn't add up, it doesn't make sense. Now, could it be something wrong with YouTube where people are not getting my videos in their newsfeed? Of course it can be, but in my eyes, it's something that I need to change. I need to keep on thinking about ways to improve the content and make it more enjoyable for you guys because if it's something on the back end, that's not really something I could change. So the only thing I could do moving forward is try and put out content that will make you guys enjoy it more, keep coming back for more videos, share it with other people. And I made that promise earlier and I will stick to that, that in 2016, things are going to continue to change. You're gonna see me traveling more, you're gonna see me collabing more, and it's just going to be something a little bit different because I feel that that's really important, not only for me, for my growth, but also for you guys as well. You know. A YouTube channel is nothing without support or without an audience, and I don't even like to call it an audience. I don't like to call you guys subscribers because it means more than you guys know that you're taking time out of your day to click on my video and sit there for whether it be six minutes, 10 minutes, or sometimes even 15 minutes and just watch me, watch things in my life, the foods I eat, the way I lift, some of my thoughts, some of my advice that I like to give. So that means so much to me, and that's why it's important for me to continue to grow on all levels, physically mentally and just keep keep putting out content that will bring you guys back to my channel for more so that is something that I will be trying really hard to do in 2016 and I will be listening to your feedback I always listen to it unless it's something like oh that song really sucked on that montage I get it guys <laughs> it's only so much music that I have here to work with and it's not all going to be great but the, the feedback about what you guys want to see on the channel all of that I do take into consideration and I will be striving as hard as I can to make all of that happen in 2016 so you know kind of wrapping this up here the boys over at Colossus Fitness and Anabolic Aliens have been putting in the work. I don't know where they got their names from. You can go ahead and ask them on their channel. But, you know, they're they're young, they're driven, they enjoy the YouTube thing, they're trying their hardest, they're in school, and and I, I encourage you guys to just go check out their YouTube channel. You know, um, if you like their content, go ahead and subscribe, but that's the way you're gonna find out. Check out their channels. They will be linked in the description box below. You know, give a few of their videos a watch and see what you think of them. Get to know them a little bit better and maybe you'll find yourself a new YouTube channel that you enjoy coming back to. So that's all I have to say. Uh, Mike, Kyle, Josh, Eric, thank you guys for coming down this weekend. I had a really great time and I'm excited for 2016. I hope you guys are as well. So thanks again for all your support guys and we will talk to you in the next video.